My name is Sarah, and I'm going to show you how to paint the tic-tac-toe for Valentine's. Let's get on. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. So, we, um, well, there's a little bit of a glare, but I think you can see. Picked up this little tic-tac-toe set from um, the dollar spot at Target. And Sarah loves playing tic-tac-toe. And what I want to do is I want to use this as a decor piece to set out on my table. So these are the little pieces that go inside. There's hearts. And then there are X's. So what we're going to do is we have some paint brushes out and I went to Hobby Lobby and I picked up this um, craft paint in the color, ooh, what color it is this? It looks like this. Well, it's cream color, but, um, it looked like oh, that. it says vanilla cream. Okay. Yeah. Sarah's showing you and we've got some out in a bowl. If you can see, it's just a little bit darker than off white. So anyways, this is what the little set looks like and what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump these pieces out Those small pieces. I'm going to paint and then Sarah is going to paint this um, the inside the Back the sides all of it. Okay, so that's what we're going to be working on guys and then when it is done and it's dry and everything We're going to set it out as a little decor piece and we can use that uh, for Valentine's Day. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started and get to painting. Okay, Sarah, what do you need me to help you do? Nothing. Okay, you've got it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, no, don't make it wet. If you make it wet, then the paint's not gonna. I'm just trying to paint. Okay. I'm an artiste. Well, bring that over because I don't, Sarah. Here, yeah, I don't, no, 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 no. Just use that as like garbage. Use this because I don't want any paint on my table, okay? If I were you, yeah, do the front and do the insides. And then let it dry. Yeah, the and then do the back. Okay, so looks like she's got that under control and I'm going to get started on these little guys. And what I'm thinking is the front side is gonna be a little harder, so I'm going to start um, with the back first. And I think I need to get some parchment paper like Sarah has. Let's see. That way I don't have to worry about getting my um, placemat dirty. So let's set these over. Move that out of the way. so that I can get this parchment paper out. <clears throat> y'all can see what I'm doing and this is just a cute fun project and like I said I picked this up at the Dollar Tree I'm sorry mm, mm, mm. no I didn't I picked it up at Target I was trying to say dollar spot instead of Dollar Tree picked it up at Target at the dollar spot so if you're interested in buying one of these go and check your Target and they had two different kinds. They had this one that had the wooden pieces, and then they had another one that um, had acrylic pieces on the inside. And they were $3. And these are really cute, and this is something that you can have um, to use year after year. And if you don't wanna paint it, you like that natural wood, that's fine. But I just thought um, it would be cute if I painted it to kind of go with the decor of the room where I'm putting it. And like I said, I'm putting it in my living room and I'm gonna put it on my end table. And after it is done and it's dry and everything and I put it out, I will take 
a picture um, and show you guys. I'll probably use that as my thumbnail. So y'all be on the lookout for that. And <clears throat> this actually is not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. But guess what? It doesn't have to be perfect. And everybody makes mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes, right? Nobody's perfect. It's kind of hard to hold, especially if you got big hands like me. Okay, so that one is done. Scoot that over. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more to go so this is going to be kind of time consuming guys but um my son has friends over that spent the night last night they went to a dance last night and then they came over and spent the night so i got up and made on video i mean made them pancakes while they're playing video games and it is raining here and so we're just hanging out this morning in the house and I have got to run some errands today. My son has soccer practice later this afternoon. And my plan for today is to get my hair done. I know y'all are probably wondering why you always see me behind the camera. And that's because I haven't gotten my hair done. Oh, man, look what I did. That's okay. Um, so as soon as I get my hair done, y'all will see me more in front of the camera. Okay? Now, um, this stuff, I hope, will dry quickly. And actually, I'm thinking it's going to need two coats because this is not really that dark um maybe i should have gotten a darker color but when i was in the store it and looking with the same color too. yeah that's why it's going to need a second coat um but when i was in the store and i was looking at the colors i was thinking that if i got it too dark it was going to have like a yellow tone to it and i was trying to stay away from that um so, but I think if we put two coats of this, it should be good. So, okay, got number three done. So we're just zooming right through this. How are you doing, Sarah? Good, how are you? Good. All right. So I'm planning, if all goes well today, like I plan, to come on tonight and um, or later this afternoon, and I'm going to do a live video with you guys. Um, and if I don't get a chance to do that today, then I'm going to definitely do it tomorrow for sure. So be looking out for that just to kind of come on and talk to you guys and answer any questions that y'all may have and just try to get to know y'all better. So I think that will be fun. What do you think, Sarah? Um, I think it's gonna be fun. Okay, so this paint is really easy. If we had somebody else Helping us, it would not take that long at all, but I am just zooming right through this. And these are just little thin paint brushes that we had on hand. Sarah got this in um in her little watercolor set. And then the paintbrush that she's using is just one that she picked up um at Michael's. So you can just get you a little cheap paintbrush, doesn't have to be anything fancy, and you can pick those up. Pretty much any craft store they have them at Dollar Tree um, and this paint that I'm using was like 79 cents at Hobby Lobby and then 40 30 or 40 percent off of that <clears throat> so really cheap for the paint and there's plenty in here 
And I guess you guys are probably wondering why I'm not doing this pink or red since it's Valentine's Day. But the reason I'm not is because these little pieces on the front, can you see, are red. One is red and then the heart is pink. So if I painted it, there we are. If I painted it pink or red, then obviously those wouldn't show up. So just doing this little color to kind of offset. <clears throat> and like I said, I also um, have in the room that I'm using cream as an accent. So I just thought that that would um, go well with it. Okay, so what we're going to do is, after I get all of these done on the back side, I'm going to give them one more coat. And then I'm going to flip them over on the front. Okay, guys, I'm back. I have got the top part of this painted, and it is still a little wet. I didn't worry about painting the bottom part because that's, you know, not going to be seen. Um, I've got the backs of these, the sides done, and then I went ahead and flipped it over and painted the front side. So I am just waiting on these to dry. And that's what they're looking like. So as soon as they get dry and this is dry, I'm going to piece it all together and show you guys um, how it turned out, what it looks like, and I will be back. So here is the final project. I've got my little end table here in my living room. And I've got this all completed and painted. And this is how it's turned out. It looks really cute. I'm glad that I painted it and um, I love the look. So that is that and we are done guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please um, subscribe if you're not subscribed and give this video a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.